Hi, my name is Firestorm. You're watching Disney Channel. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, man machine, everything with in between. We are back with more Demon Souls, right? Where we last left off, who did we beat? We beat we beat the adjudicator and we beat the fool's idol. And now we're going to be heading towards um what you call it? Watch him do it. Watch him who's it. We're gonna be heading towards uh, World Three Two. Yeah, I think that's what we're doing. We're gonna equip this. Oh my god, that is so heavy. Seven pounds. I still got my roll. Uh, I changed a couple of things since the last time you were here. I'm just gonna equip that, and I'm gonna unequip the Crescent Moon Grass. Let me see, what ring am I rocking right now? Fragment ring, cling ring, okay. Da, 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 da. I think this is right now what I'm rolling with. I also leveled up since last stream. I forgot my TV audio is on. Let me mute that. And my dog is like right behind me as I turn around and grab my remote. She's just won't leave me alone. Go sit there. Now where the hell is my remote? <laughs> Look what you did to me, dog. Found it. We're all good. Just gotta mute the audio coming out on my TV. Because that feedback will go into the microphone and we don't want that. We do not want that. Alright. So I leveled up a handful of levels. This is what my stats are looking like right now. And I was trying to, um, I was trying to look for an, a weapon that I could use, right? I managed to get the Reaper to drop the War Scythe, but I was trying to get the Katana Skeleton. Uh, the Katana Skeleton, yep. I was trying to get the Black Skeletons to drop the, uh, Uchi Katana, but to no avail. After, like, an hour or two of just, like, trying to get them to drop it, they wouldn't drop it. And... You know, I was trying out the other weapons and I was like, oh man, these are cool. But then, at the end of the day, the Dragon Longsword is still the better option because it does the most damage. So, right now we're just going to be rocking with the Dragon Longsword, which kind of sucks a little bit because I don't, I don't want to rely on it too much, right? But hopefully, hopefully we can, um... We can, uh, whatchamacallit, I lost my train of thought. Hopefully, we can get the Uchi Katana this time around, which, again, I would really love to do. Just checking out what I have in my pockets right now before I head out. Um, and I didn't talk to any NPCs. Actually... I'm not sure if the cleric even came into the Nexus. Oh, here you are. Thanks to you, I was able to seek refuge in this Nexus. Now I stay here and pray, along with my disciples, for the heroes facing the demons. If you wish for benevolent protection in your fight against the demons, then bring me demon souls. I will cleanse them and create miracles. I gotta sneeze, like, really badly. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, man. I need to get that out of my system. Learn miracles. We can learn miracles from this dude. What a good gamer. Hey, Ethanol. Good to see you again. <laughs> Hidden soul. I've never used any of these fucking miracles. At all. Cast with talisman. That's not been learned. What is this? Oh, you go invisible? Okay. That's very useful. Actually not. Dragon demon soul. Unleash God's wrath. <laughs> okay, we have four. Just got off of work. Oh, shit. What are you doing in ethanol? You, um... Are you the one that, like, refuels jets and shit? Jets? Planes? Not bad. <laughs> Is that what you do again? I remember someone told me that. Someone told me they did something. Was. Oh, you got a different job? <laughs> Regeneration. Switched over to the air... Uh, switched over to the airline. Okay. 
Wait, so like, you're like a stewardess? Yes, I see. I certainly cannot force you to do anything. What do you mean by that? Like, you uh, what do you do? You book people on the airplanes? I don't know how much. I don't know what goes on in a uh, in airports too much. You do ramp shit. Okay. Okay, pulling the planes and loading bags and shit. And throwing people's dogs into jet engines and shit like that, right? <laughs> Don't worry, your your animal will be will be okay. Like in the plane somewhere. Sitting there by themselves, probably pissing all over themselves. <laughs> what do they do with animals when they get on planes, right? They just throw them down there. Maybe have like one dude take care of them. <laughs> Not the ATF. <laughs> Jesus. All right, so we talked to Cleric Boy. I don't think Ostrava has anything for us to talk to about with him. And I still gotta find the tools for uh, this dude. I keep forgetting his name. Baldwin, that's your name, right? Yeah, Baldwin. All right, Um, what is my magic resistance looking like right now? Why is my dog whining right behind me? You okay? She's both whining and like yawning at the same time. You're right back there. My other dog is like sound asleep. We actually have very straight guidelines on live animals, including which compartments we can load. We can load warm and cold blooded animals. They load warm and cold blooded animals. They have to be. Pet. pet what the fuck? I'm sorry. Thought I saw something happen on my computer. Um, let me see. They gotta be palletized. I hope I said that right. We cannot put natural enemies in the same compartment. They can be loaded with dangerous goods or human remains. <laughs> or human remains? What? <laughs> How the? Hmm? There's a bunch of guidelines. I, I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of guidelines. There's gotta be, right? There's a lot of guidelines. For like everything, everything you do. Uh, do I want to hit the upper latria right now? We do a lot of uh, dead soldiers. Ooh, ooh. Oh, oh. So like, um, okay. So like, sending them back home to their families, like that. I want to see if I can finish World War Two. I also have like no healing items with me. That's the worst part about that. Okay, yeah, all right, I understand. <coughs> Jesus. I still never, I still never grabbed this item that was over here. Let me do this real quick. Stone of Ephemeral Eyes, it was completely, completely useless. It was a completely useless item. I didn't need it. I did not need it. Alrighty. So, I didn't even get to check my magic stats. Where's my resistances? Uh, da -da 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 -da. I have 81 resistance to magic. Okay. Hopefully that's, that's more than enough than to survive the bullshit. See, that guy has the right idea. You fall right here, wait for boy to shoot his thing and then you just fuck him up. Just beat his ass. There you go, and it's not a problem on there. Moonstone shard. Same plants have pressurized and climate controlled bins. Some only have pressurized bins, some don't have any at all. So, what and how we load the doggies is plane specific. Ooh. Okay. That's interesting. <laughs> that's, that's more interesting to, uh, than what I initially thought. I just thought that they go like, ah. Like, you know when um people go like, I'm going on a trip. Here, animal store, take my dog and watch him for the week. And most of the time, they just throw them in the back and let them piss and shit on themselves until fucking... Until, like, when's that guy coming over to pick up his dog? Oh, uh, like an hour or two from now? Oh, man, you should really give that dog a bath. <laughs> you should really do that. That's usually how it goes down in other places. They just lock them up in mass and just go, whatever, these idiots gave us their money. I would know, because I worked for a dog shop for like a week, and then I said, fuck this noise, I'm out. Let 
And we even give them sippies if there's a delay. Aw. Give a little dog a sippy cup. Imagine a dog slurping out of a crazy straw. Man, I've never seen a crazy straw for like years. They used to have like all fun shapes and shit. And I'll be like, I want the silly straw in my drink. Where the fuck am I going, by the way? I gotta go down here, yeah? Yeah, I gotta go down. Dog blowing bubbles in the milk with the crazy straw. <laughs> Just sitting there looking all happy. Looking all happy and stupid. And you're like, aww. Who's a perfect dumb animal? You are. Speaking about dumb animals, why are you whining behind me? I just let you outside to use the bathroom. What? Are you okay? What do you want? Come here. Come here. What do you want from me? Because you're making noises. Do you have something to say? This is my sister's dog that I'm holding right now, and she gave it to me because she was like, she was like, oh no, you gave me the dog and suddenly it went skinny. And I'm like, oh, that's great. Maybe you should try feeding it. <laughs> no one in my family knows how to take care of the animals like I do. All right, what the hell do you want? Why are you whining? What do you want? What's wrong with you? Stop looking at me like that. Put your tongue back in your mouth, you weirdo. What do you want from me? I fed you. You went outside literally like two seconds ago. So why are you whining? There's nothing else I can do for you right now. And if you want me to hold you and pet you, I can't do that. Because I'm a big streamer and I have to stream. There you go. Alright. I'll put like covers over her or some shit. Sometimes that's all you gotta do, just put like a cover over the over the animal, and then they go, I'm satisfied now. Now that I've made a little hidey hole. I fucking hate fighting these damn things. Yikes. Woo! That could have killed me easily. Alright, I need to. I should have grinded it to get like some some more healing items, but fucking, I forgot to do that before the stream. Also, I literally just woke up like 20 minutes ago, so. And my dog just jumped off the bed. Where are you going and what are you doing? <laughs> I'm just gonna magic arrow your ass. And it's gonna magic arrow me. And I'm gonna magic arrow you right back. Waking up at 2 a.m. like a chat. Ah, fuck! I hate these damn things. Worst part about this area is that you can't run past these motherfuckers. You just gotta deal with it. Well, I mean, you can run past them. Right? Because I'm about to do that. I'm about to run past these two. Like so. Alright. Now I gotta two hand this shit because down here is, uh, are those like soldier boys? Not soldier boys. I meant to say like soul boys, but oh, I almost fell. <laughs> oh, ah, shit. I forgot you can do that weird shit. Did I just. Mm, I thought I could squeeze past him. Just gonna heal up. Is this motherfucker just gonna do this shit all day? They don't flinch. That's the worst part about this. Alright, there we go. See the tweet that was talking about Drizzy Hands- Uh, Drizzy- What? <laughs> talking about Drizzy Hands a couple of days in a row now. Reminds me of every time of how- which I fucking hate Drake, bro. What? Drizzy hands. The fuck you talking about? <laughs> Was it a tweet that I made? What the hell is Drizzy hands? Oh, 
Come on. Oh, this dude's gonna fuck me up. There we go. There we go. Alright, what the fuck? What is this? Sp oh. I can run past you, right? Yep. Just squeeze on past a little bit. That didn't straight up kill me, didn't it? Oh, shit. Alright, well. Man, I gotta get, like, some armor that doesn't kill me in two seconds with these fucking, with this magic bullshit. Some tweet talking about Drake got hands like a French, like a French woman with a maid or some shit. What? What are you doing? I was like, I can just, I'm gonna just let my dog walk around and rock for a bit. And she's like going through every little crevice of my room, like walking through all the wires and shit. What are you doing? What are you looking for? Little one. No, don't lick me. <laughs> don't lick my face. That was the sound of me putting my dog on the bed and her fucking foot yanking my headphones. Jesus. I got too many dogs in this house. I don't know. I don't know. As far as I'm concerned, Drake peaked with what he got shot on. The, <laughs> he peaked on when he got shot on the, by the grass. Jesus. And his music sucks. He's groom and groom teenagers. Man, what rapper doesn't fucking groom teenagers? Maybe besides Tyler the Creator. Tyler the Creator doesn't. He's not into none of that shit, right? Tyler the Creator's still good, right? He's still doing fine. <laughs> He's still carrying the world on his back. Carrying the whole industry. Come on, guys. We can't just have one man carry the whole industry on his back the whole entire time. <laughs> right? Yeah, but yeah, to me, Drake was never good either. Honestly. I mean, like, he had good songs, like, one or twice, but never, like, never, like, oh, shit, man, this is my go-to all the time. Like, nah, fuck that. Real rappers get on the track and the best gets murdered. <laughs> Drizzy hops on the track and the best get a fucking girlfriend. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> fuck. Man. I don't know. I look at Drake the same way I look at Chris Brown, right? It's like, I don't know what people see in you guys, really. I don't like every time I'm listening to a song and then I hear them I'm like and then it's ruined right that's me anyways I'm getting fucked up by a lot of magic let me see organize some shit do I not have any like just straight up like protect me from magic shit 19 9, uh, 23 for old ragged robes really Hmm. Let's grab that. I guess the old ragged set is like the best thing to do. Right? And let me see what's this. This has eight, and the one that I got has eight as well, so it's really no difference. Oh shit, I'm not a woman, so I can't wear it. <laughs> Damn it. I forgot about that in Demon Souls. Damn it. So I have no other option, right? It's weird. You would expect the wizard fucking set, right? To, like, really protect you from magic, but it doesn't. Like, that sucks. Alright. So I guess I'm just gonna head to Latria then. Fuck around in Latria. Actually, uh... Thomas, you're not the one... Mm, you're not the one who sells shit. I need, I need to buy grass from someone, right? I just don't know where to go. Let me think real quick. Let me think. I guess there's the guy. Let me see. Let me head back to, uh, let me head back over here. The whole rag set got me looking like one of those. I don't know. I think the old right, the old right, I think it's based off of the uh, executioner and like world, uh, 
in like Boletaria or some shit. I think that's what she is. You gotta have like white world tendency to like head to the like open the gate or whatever, and then she's just right there and she has like really good shit. But it's only for like a woman. Character has to be a woman. They did they did away with that shit real fast in later games. Cause sitting there going, uh uh uh, you can't have this good armor because of uh, because you're a dude or a girl. It's like what? Why? Like motherfuckers, you see that shit? There's demons outside. Okay, so this guy. How much is it? Four hundred per grass? Yeah, Jesus. You're the worst fucking drug dealer ever. How many souls you want for that mean grass? Four hundred of them. What? What do you mean? Fetch me their souls. I'm out here on demon time. Hear about how people were getting other players banned with a pair of with a pair of panties in Elden Ring? Wait, really? See, I haven't touched anything with Elden Ring because I was like, because you know, I'm a crazy son of a bitch. So I'm just like, what the? F oh, why are you standing in front of Thomas? Hello again. I'm keeping a close watch. I was like, what the hell happened? Where'd Thomas go? I didn't use all my souls, did I? Oh fuck, you serious? I definitely did. I definitely did off screen. I used my souls. And the only ones I have are the boss souls left, and I'm holding on to them because I'm not sure if I want to, uh... You have a heart of gold. I'm not sure if I want to, uh, whatchamacallit. If I want to forge any of the weapons from the bosses yet. Jesus. Alright, well, I guess we're just gonna have to roll luck, right? You know how they got that girl, uh, that girl that gives out hugs? No, I haven't, like... Because I'm a crazy son of a bitch, and I'm like, oh man, I gotta finish some soul games before I even touch Elden Ring, right? Even though they don't connect whatsoever. Like, in my mind, I'm like, I gotta finish Dark Souls 3 because I never beat that. I gotta play maybe a little bit of Sekiro or something like that, you know? Like, when I touch Elden Ring, I wanna, I wanna sit there and watch how everything in terms of gameplay kind of connects to one another, right? I'm just, I'm just kind of built like that. <laughs> you know, so I haven't touched anything with Elden Ring, and luckily, somehow, I managed to avoid spoilers for Elden Ring, even though I wasn't really trying to. So, huh. right, that and I, that and when Elden Ring is coming out, I was like, maybe I should stream it. But then I remembered, oh wait, it's a Dark Souls game, so everyone who d don't even like Dark Souls, they're gonna stream it. So, what's the point? <laughs> Hello, guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Where we play Dark Souls and I scream my head off because I don't know what a video game is. Whoa! Oh my god, whoa! Did you see that guy? Whoa! Whoa! That gargoyle is alive! Whoa! You know all that shit? You guys are weak to magic, right? Yeah, of course not. This is Latria we're talking about. You're not weak to magic. I fucking hate... I hate World 3-2. Okay, he just turned around and said, fuck it. What the fuck is he doing? Oh my god, this is not going to be a fun time fighting you guys. Come on. I hate fighting these guys. So unfair. You can fucking fly and shit. Get your ass down. I heard another one. Where is it? God, who likes World 3-2? I don't know anyone who likes this place. This place fucking sucks. Everyone talks about how Blight Town is fucking annoying. Jesus, this place is annoying. Alright, so there's a girl that gives you out hugs. She wear uh... She was wearing these white robes you can actually get, but it was originally part of a set, including the panties. The panties got dummied out, but, they still, but they're still in the game. So dudes hacked them and started dropping them for players during invasions, and people would pick them up. The game would detect that they had an illegal item and immediately banned them to the cheater's lobby for 180 days. Ooh. You know what? I'd rather have that than, like... What was it? There was like, like right, like literally like a month or two before Elden Ring came out, some dude went on like 
I don't know where he went, like Reddit or something like that, or like Twitter or something. He's a like, he's like, hey, FromSoft, I've been trying to warn you for years, so now I'm just going to put you on full blast because I think I'm the only person who knows this. And he's like, your fucking online system is fucked because people can hack into your PC and shit through your online system. I've been telling you to fix it for years and you guys have been ignoring me. So fix this shit now. I'm letting everybody know. <laughs> right? Like, I remember that happened. So then, like, like at that time, myself, like, on my own time, I was playing um, Dark Souls 2 because I never really beat it. And I remember, like, starting the game and it's like, you can't go online. And I was like, I was like, huh? I was like, they killed the servers for Dark Souls? What happened? Right? And then, like, a week later, I heard that shit and I was like, oh, so that's why. <laughs> Come on. Come on, gargoyle man. He's out here like, hey guys, when is Disney gonna reboot my shit? It was a pretty okay show. It's kind of crazy that we showed it to kids, right? <laughs> remember gargoyles? It was okay. It was alright. I remember gargoyles. They come to life at night. Hey, there's some kind of remote code execution thing, wasn't it? I don't know, it was like a, it was a handful of months ago. What are you doing? What are you doing? Here's a cover. Lay under it. And disappear into the darkness, little one. I don't know what's wrong with this dog. <laughs> she's just, tonight she's just like, running around. I won't sit down. She's like, I'm just gonna be right behind you and like start breathing heavily and shit. Till I get a reaction. I got aged spice. And everything nice. Oh man, go get that item. Nothing bad's gonna happen. Yeah, just go pick it up. I promise you, you won't get attacked by anything. Like a dude just fucking runs behind you and shoulder checks your ass off the fucking world. Strange sign ahead. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> hey man, there's something crazy out there. Dude, I remember, um, again, I never beat Dark Souls 3, but I remember seeing this thing because I was watching someone else play and they were like, um, and they were just fucking, you know, wh where was it? I think it was New Londo, maybe? Bad time for dying right now here, so, okay. I think it was like, maybe New Londo they were in or some bullshit and like, oh, look at that gargoyle just sitting there waiting for me. And like, they were like, what the fuck? And I went, what do you, what's going on? What happened? You died? And they're like, no, there's just a fucking message floating in thin air over there. And I was like, what do you mean? Let me see this shit. And then there's like an area with just a bunch of messages like floating, literally floating in the air. And I'm like, and like the person who was playing it, they never played Dark Souls 1. So I was like, oh, oh. Hey man, why don't you try walking towards that message? And he's like, what? I was like, nah, just, just do it. And the dude does it, and you're walking on like an invisible bridge or some shit, and I'm like, oh my fucking god, I can't believe they did this shit again. Because that's something they did in Dark Souls 1, when you head to the fucking Duke's archives, and there's just like invisible bridges you gotta fucking walk on. Where the hell am I? I don't want to roll, because I'll definitely fall off the edge, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, oh, come on, hit the fucking pots, man. Renowned hero, so, what the hell's over here? Something gooey and gross. Gah. When the message says, try jumping, and you jump and it just kills you. I've never jumped whenever I see messages like that. Oh, that motherfucker has a crossbow. Are you serious? I got magic too, motherfucker. Watch this. Yeah. That crossbow did a lot of fucking damage for no reason. Can you fucking, like, reload or some shit? <laughs> You've been shooting crossbow bolts for hours. Haven't seen you reload, not once. 
You're okay, demons, right? You're not gonna fucking kill me. Good. Good boys. Yeah, but whenever I see those jump messages, I'm just like, I'm like, and where's the bloodstains that accompany this? Because there's always someone who will take that, who will take that advice way before me. And you'll just be like, huh, there's a message that says try jumping and there's a blood stain right there. I wonder what happened. And you just watch people fall to their deaths and you're like, I'm like, they must be just doing it for the lulls, right? There's no way someone went like, oh yeah, totally. Let me walk my ass back up here. I fucking hate this area so much. Again, everybody complains about Blight Town. Blight Town's not that bad, guys. Blight Town was never that bad. This shit right here, nerve-wracking. It's like the it's like the lizard brain reaction you get whenever you're playing like a Mario game and there's just like a bunch of bottomless pits everywhere. You know what? Fuck it. It's like it's like the anxiety you get from playing Crash Bandicoot 1. Where you're just like, death is one step away. Hell is no longer a place only attainable through death. <laughs> Jesus. Let me rub my ass up here. Aren't there supposed to be like Cthulhu monsters around here? Oh, that's what I was hearing. Ugh. Don't even need anyone to tell me before I eat my ass off a cliff. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you just do it for shits and giggles. You're just like, you know what? What if something's down there? And then you just go like, you know, fuck it. Oh, look at this guy. You come over here to my time, right? Now we're fighting on my timeline. Oh. So, one of the things is weird here. This is a creature made out of stone, right? And I'm able to stagger it. But the soul monsters, or whatever, in 3-4, I can't stagger them at all. Kind of weird. I can stagger a rock, but I can't stagger the souls that I'm stabbing. Yeah. I forgot how to make this thing fall. I think I pull like a lever or some shit. I'm so not looking forward to the second boss of this world. You guys are good. You're not going to attack me. We're friends. Oh, of course you got a crossbow. Yeah, no, no, totally. It's fine. Can you stay your ass over there? Don't come any closer to me. I fucking hate this place so much. What? Oh, there it is. A non hero soul. Isn't this where you find Yurt or whatever fuck his name is? Or is that world, uh, or is that 3 3? What is there a fog gate doing here? Do not go behind me. Because now I gotta turn my back to the other guy while I'm on this fucking magic cliff bullshit. Don't know why I called it magic. Oh, Jesus. Let my stamina come back. Fucking hate fighting on these bridges. I hate it so much. You know what? You can stay up there. No, no, no. Just stay up there, buddy. Go ahead. I'm fine down here. Who thought this was fun? Who thought this was fun? Who thought this would be fun? This is a fun time. Haha. <laughs> I don't need to aim. I do need to aim. No, I don't. Jesus. Let me just stay over there, buddy. Oh, wow. Okay, yep. Next, next, uh, next, next time I level up, I gotta get my vitality up. That's just it. I'm dying, like, in two hits. Ho! Oh! <laughs> Give me a second, sir!
All right. Whew. Favorite part when when they built walkways that are only four feet wide. Oh man, fucking. I just hate it. I hate bottomless pits in like every game that has them. I honestly do. It's I think it's just something from my childhood, right? Where you're just like, fuck, I keep dying because I keep falling in the hole. And then that just gets built in you, you know? Instead of overcoming the fear, you're just constantly scared of it. My goal is to make it to the boss so I can unlock the shortcut. And that's just basically it. That's all I want to do right now. And I'm waiting for these fucking gargoyles to come on down. Like that! My guy, you're just gonna stand there? You know what? I'm not complaining. Go ahead, stand there. Keep it to yourself, buddy. I'll just be over here, having a good time. <clears throat> oh, he's getting closer. Woo! Video games are bottom of my pits. <coughs> What is wrong with my voice today? Why does it feel like... <coughs> me, 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 me. <laughs> Video games with bottomless pits, but the pits is literally bottomless and you don't die when you fall. Oh, God. You don't die when you fall, you just fall forever. What is that fucking animated short where, like, where, like, Mario kills, like, what, a Koopa or something? Or, like, a Goomba or something? And it falls into the bottomless pit, and it's like, Oh, this is what's down here. And then there's just a bunch of dead Marios, and it's like, Mario? Mario, are you okay, buddy? <laughs> what? But you're Mario. And he's, like, having a fucking... Oh, God, this is the elevator shit, right? Do I gotta wait for it to come down or go up or, or what? What are we doing here? Yep, here it is. Because this is great. <laughs> I hate this so fucking much. Oh! They give you one second to get off. Just like that. Uh-huh. Look at that. Come on, just give me like a... Just give me some more time to get myself together, you know? I'm gonna leave that gargoyle down there. I don't think it's gonna come and get me anytime soon. You guys, stop praying to altars and shit. There we go. How many chains do I have to break? Is there three? I think there's three chains I gotta break. Either that or there's two of them. So that one's broken. Now I gotta get to the other one. Which means I gotta go back down, right? Yeah, I gotta go back down. God, this is nerve wracking. I fucking hate it. I hate it so much. Learned the other day that FromSoft made games that are not Soulsborne back in the 90s. You know, they make a front mission, right? They're, aren't they remastering? Not remastering, remaking Front Mission 1, like, really soon, or some shit like that? Or is it next, or is it next year or something? I, I don't remember. But yeah, they, uh, yeah, FromSoft used to... FromSoft didn't really make Souls-like games until fucking, until, you know, what's his name? Showed up. Because the dude, like, quit his job, and he was like, I want to make video games, and they just had him doing bullshit. Uh, Miyazaki, that's his name, right? They just had him doing bullshit, and then he just kept fucking complaining to him. He's like, I came here to make a video game. Let me make a video game. And then they were like, all right, fine, shut up, here. PlayStation wants some fucking exclusive game, there you go. And then he's all like, great. I'll make it based on Western shit. And then it didn't sell well until like, I don't know, some Let's Player somewhere played it. And then he's like, this game is hard, everybody. Try to beat this game at 3 a.m. You know? <laughs> All that dumb shit. And then people hopped on Demon Souls and they were like, this is great. So it did great in the West, but over in Japan, they were like, nah, we don't want none of this shit. This seems too American, too scary. 
<laughs> and then, uh, you know, and then Dark Souls happened. Uh, where do I... Do I just head back? I think I head back, right? Yeah, I think I head back. Maybe. I think I head back and like that that one side should be unblocked. And then I can proceed. Unknown warrior soul. My god, I fucking hate this shit so much. <laughs> I don't know how I don't know how many times I can say it, right? Everyone's like, oh man, I hate invisible walls. No, bring them back. Bring them back. They kept me safe. It kept me safe. And that's all I want. I want to feel safe. I don't want the ability to just fucking careen myself off a goddamn edge. Alright, let me see. Is that... Is that side still... Yeah, it's still there. Oh, huh, where do I... Where do I go again? Because I don't go straight down. <clears throat> I only beat one thing at 3 a.m. <laughs> My suicidal tendencies, Jesus. There was like some tweet going around that's like, don't believe, it's like, don't believe anything you think about yourself past 9 a.m. And I'm like, I'm like, but most of my life exists past 9 a.m. I mean, not 9 a.m., 9 p.m. Like, most of my life exists past 9 p.m. So, am I just not here? Do I exist? Why am I still here? To suffer? I'm trying to look over and see where do I go. So I guess, yeah, go up there and then... Okay, cool. Do, 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 do. You know, whenever, whenever you're just nervous, start singing some songs in your head. Just start singing fucking... Pokemon Johto New Journeys or whatever the fuck it's called. Do 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 do. Everybody wants to be a master. Everybody wants to show their skills. <laughs> I was really thinking about the Tumblr purse. A purse? The purse. You know, you head on Twitter and you just make a couple of purse. The Tumblr posts four hours ago. Jesus. Come on, elevator. I need you. Need you now more than ever. Wait, do I just keep going? Hold up. Did I try just going? Like, keep going? Let me try that. I don't think I tried that. Let me try just keep... Keep going this way. Nope, just death. Nothing but death awaits you. Nothing. I will say... I will say, after uh, the Dark Souls boom, it increasingly got annoying whenever people would just compare compare a game to Dark Souls when it was hard. I mean, people still fucking do it today. It's a little annoying. It's like, God. Especially if you're someone that's like, to me, Dark Souls itself, the gameplay and everything isn't that hard. It's just the situations they put you in that makes it hard, right? So it's like... So it's like, uh, whenever people just compare, like, a game to Dark Souls, I'm like, so they just give you a fucky level design or something? Oh, this is a shortcut. I'll take it. I don't even care about grabbing that item because it just seems, just seems like I'm gonna fall off the edge. Beautiful shortcut! I love you! You're my friend. I am a for fun gamer. I am a story mode gamer. Jesus. Jesus. I hate that. Dodge anything on, <laughs> on Steam with the Souls like tag. Yeah. You come down here and you got the man eaters. That's what they're called, or human centipedes. Where is a. Uh, where's the steps? I fucking hate these things. They're creepy. I don't like them. They're not fun. Die. 
they constantly scare the shit out of me. But, you know, to put up with my fears, I just kind of cross my eyes and just don't pay attention. If you don't look at it hard enough, you won't realize what it is. And then you just move on with your life, right? Oh, uh, shit. You're a big boy. The problem is when you stop swinging, you then realize what you're attacking. <laughs> oh, there's another one? Just don't think about it. Just keep going and don't think about it. Just keep going and don't think about it. Ooh. Oh, shit! Move, 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 move! Now I got one directly behind me. Oh! Way to- way to put me in the water! Way to put me in the scary juice! My fear and anxiety has increased tenfold. Where's the other one? Whew. Remember, like, I want to say, like, maybe it was, like, four years ago when, like, people just kept fucking going, like, do stories make a game good? Do we really need stories in our video games? Right? You know, all that shit. And, like, everyone would always talk about, like, what, Uncharted or Last of Us or something like that. And it's like, are, are video games actually art? Right? Like, all those fucking annoying ass conversations. It's like, does it matter? Like, in that case, do we really need, like, TV shows or movies to be fucking entertained? Just give me a fucking Rubik's Cube or some shit and I'll shut up for, like, a minute. Stop crawling to me like you're a fucking baby. Like you're a child. In need of something. <laughs> Stab it right in the face. See, Japanese art uh, art directors try to make a monster that isn't extensive abuse of freaking... <laughs> a frankly terrifying body horror. Oh man, how I can't wait for how people react to later parts of JoJo Part 6. For some reason, Akira just loved body horror the entire time he was making that part. For some unknownable, unknown reason, that dude was like, man, you like body horror? I like body horror. Time to like watch teeth grow out of people's faces and shit. <laughs> what if someone's eye just started melting in their socket? On some Junji Ito type shit. Must have dropped a third bomb to correct the timeline. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, uh, man. Manhunt was fucking art, and Jack Thompson should have been re uh, retroactively hung on a cross for his crimes. Yikes. <laughs> I never played Manhunt, but I definitely seen... I definitely seen some, uh... Some stuff from Manhunt, and I'll say... A lot of people usually go, Oh, man, it's a scary game. And I'm like, It's not scary, it just makes you think about what happens. Like, how... Like, whenever you're watching a horror movie... And then someone, motherfucker, and then someone is like, I'm going to go for the eyeball. <laughs> and you're like, oh, I don't want to know what's inside of an eyeball. That's gross. It's weird. Now my eye hurts. Maybe I should go get some glasses. Velma Dinkley, I now know how you feel whenever you're chasing these monsters and you don't have your glasses. It's, it's not about not seeing, it's about... It's about keeping your eyes protected. Fucking around with these idiots dressed up in costumes. Really, dude? You hit me from that far away? I'm trying to... I'm trying to find my butt. Fucking Christ, I'm gonna die. Uh! Alright, fuck you guys. I'm just gonna... Just gonna get up here real quick. The fuck away from me. 
I should have been I should have been wearing the thieves ring or some shit. Alright. I am almost out of healing items. I literally just have like these two pieces of grass left, I think, and then let me see, yup. The most I can do is use this crescent moon grass and like the dark moon grass that I got, but other than that, I'm gonna be out. Like I can head back to um I can go back to uh whatchamacallit, right? I can like run my ass back and and head to world or two. I don't wanna fall. At the four two and try and get um you know some more grass that way, but that's not gonna happen anytime soon. Oh, there's a fucking isn't there a dark phantom over here or some shit? Dark phantom. Red phantom. Yuji Ito also needs to be put on a cross because of him and his and his uh fucking Imitators create for some truly fucking debacle shit. <laughs> not even someone who gets scared by horror all that often. Me neither, right? Like, whenever I'm scared, for the most part, I hide it by being quiet. <laughs> which is why, which is why I'll probably never do a face cam, right? Oh man, I want to see your reaction. The most reaction you'll get out of me is me going, oh fuck. <laughs> Speaking about, oh my god, speaking about scary shit, like getting jump scared and shit, like the last the last playthrough I did was uh, Evil Within, right? I'm gonna have to upload on that on YouTube soon, but it's on Twitch, right? And I remember, like, when I was uh, looking up whether I should play the DLC or not for that game, it showed, uh, fucking, it brought me over to a video years ago, before the game came out, and fucking, it was IGN. And the video started with, these aren't paid actors. And it's just a fucking video of, like, the camera just watching them play. And as they're all going, oh, oh, oh my god, it's so scary. Ah! Right? And I'm just sitting there, I'm like, there's nothing really scary about that game. <laughs> like, these aren't paid actors. But they sure as fuck are bad ones. <laughs> like, fucking IGN, get the fuck out of here. The game is so scary. The game is also pretty fucking bad <laughs> like, all right where are you there's a phantom over here i know there is probably wearing the thief's ring or some bullshit where are you at phantom where are you at I'm gonna take my time over here on your danny phantom shit going do 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 do, 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 do. He's a phantom. I wish that theme song was longer. I really do. Where the fuck is the phantom? Bullshit. There's no way there's not a phantom here. Come on. Stop playing around. I know there's a phantom around here. Oh, there you are. Oh, no. It's a... Oh. It's not a person phantom. It's a Cthulhu monster. It's a mind flare. I should have like the thieves ring on or some shit. Let me actually get the fuck away from you. Because if I remember correctly, this dude has like a shit ton of health. Yeah, and that guy's not gonna turn around anytime soon. I guess I'm just gonna have to have a fucking Harry Potter off with this guy, all right? Oh, come on. Come on, lock on. Stop being stupid. Oh! I'm dead. I tried to roll there. I really did. And all that progress was for nothing. Because now you're all the fuck the way over here, and I didn't unlock a shortcut, did I? Well, them's the brakes. 
let me think what would be the fastest way like how I guess I can try and just roll past those guys maybe I take a lot of damage from magic like stupid amounts of damage from it Fuck you, I'm just gonna go for it. Nothing bad's never happened to nobody who just went for it, you know what I mean? Ooh. Scary. Let me put the thief's ring on, by the way. That would probably help me out a lot if I'm just gonna be running past motherfuckers. Thief's ring, thief's ring, where are you? Thief's ring, here we go. Alright, um, let's see. Hey, Breezy, how's it going? As I fucking almost shit myself. <laughs> that thing literally scares me. Not because it's scary, but because, like, it nudges me to the side a little bit. And I, I'm like, one second from just falling off and dying. Shields up, boys. I gotta walk past you. There we go. Just ignoring them all. But this one I can't ignore, because this guy's gonna just, like, drop on down and say, Hey, man, what's up? And you're just gonna stand there. Alright, cool. You can do that. I have like a bad fucking angle on it. Come on. Come on. Oh, you're flying? Hey man, you can fly if you want. I'm just gonna keep going then. Shields up. Because of that? Oh no, we're dead. Goodbye, cruel world. Oh, shit. Come on. Just don't think about it too much. Come on, elevator. I can use you right now. Where you at? There you go. Stressed and tired, but alive. That's good. <laughs> Maybe. Question mark. Right now, I'm stressed. Not tired, just stressed. Mainly because of this game. It's a stressful game. Alrighty. Alrighty. Oh wait, there's two of them. But they both lead to the same place, don't they? So what's the fucking what's the fucking point? Because this isn't a shortcut. I don't think this is a shortcut. This literally just goes to the same place. Let me, let me check over here, because, yeah, you hop on down over there. Like, that's a shortcut to head back down, I guess, maybe. Oh, no, that's where Yurt is at. I can see his ass inside the cage. Yeah, I'm not freeing that guy. <laughs> he, can, he can stay in that cage. I'm not freeing him unless I'm getting ready to kick his ass off the ledge. <laughs> Fuck that guy. And now I'm back down here with these fucking weird cretins. There we go. Alright, now I'm trying to think. If I just run past all these big boys, right? Where did I die at? What did I die to? I died to Cthulhu. So if I run past all these big boys, hmm, I won't really, they would still chase me up those steps and I would kind of like pincer myself, right? Hmm, damn it. That dude won't notice me, but that one will. Come on, I want you to attack first. There we go. 
so I can two-hand it. And kind of just like, you know, get in there. There we go. Starting school soon, hours from home. Thought I was ready to... Oh, you're ready to... Fuck, I can't even read anymore. Thought I was ready to pack, but... Oh, you're going into dorms? Need to make hospital visits to make sure patients there is improving in their condition. Emotionally tired, but... But... They could be worse. Oh, okay. It can be worse. Feel bad you keep adding here? No, man, you're fine. <laughs> you're fine. I'm not that worried about it. Yeah, but what are you doing? You're uh, you're dorming. You know, little little man can stay down there. I'm not, I'm not that eager about fighting him. I don't want to fall off the side. There we go. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to uh. First, I'm going to have to get my souls, and I think I might just homeward bone or something, I'm not sure. I might just do that and just, like, cash them in to upgrade my, my fucking vitality or some shit. Oh, you fell. Ooh, there we go. Just kind of... <sighs> Jesus. <laughs> Anxiety's building up. I need a better weapon than the fucking Dragon Longsword. That's what I need to do. I need to get a better weapon than this. And I was trying to get... Like, I want the Uchi Katana, but if I head over to World 4-2, I'm just gonna die. Wait. This isn't the same area I went. Where the fuck am I going? Where am I? <laughs> it's not the same area, right? Yeah, it's over... It's over here? Right? Wait, no. What the fuck? Wait, I'm confused. <laughs> I'm confused. Discombobulated. School is online, so now you'll be able to dorm there, but it's four hours from your place. Don't know how you feel about how you feel that in your last three days. It's even harder to prepare for with medical emergencies that came up. Ooh, Jesus. Yeah, I definitely feel you on that one. I can only imagine to understand, right? Because me, not a college boy. Me, just kind of make and do what I make do, right? But definitely, like, just the annoyances of, like, listen, I gotta do my own shit. But meanwhile, someone's over there, and they're just like, but I need help, too! And you're like, oh, but, but, but I really don't have time for it. <laughs> oh, man. Right? So now your time just gets eat up, like, twice as much? Where the fuck is the... Oh, it's up here. I couldn't even fucking see it. It's sliced up. Alright, now there's the two of them over here. Yeah? So let me just bait one out. I felt like that should have been a shortcut. Let me just bait you out. Don't hit the fucking post. There we go. Come over here, buddy. What the fuck? That guy exploded. <laughs> you would. But then you get a speech from them that makes you feel guilty. Yeah, fuck. Dude. The amount of times my annoying ass family will just be like... Like, I fucking, like, on my Twitter, I want to say maybe like two weeks ago or something like that. Like, I made, I made multiple posts because I was very frustrated. So basically, everything that I want to say right now is pretty much in those posts. Right? But yeah, totally the thing of like, listen, 
I can't help everyone out if I don't help myself out first. Who the fuck am I going to help if I can't help myself? And then they're like, oh, so you're just a bad person. And it's like, no, I'm a realist. <laughs> Even though people don't like hearing other people say that you're a realist. They'll just be like, no, I'm someone who thinks ahead. And I'm not going to bring myself down to help you out because I'm already down. You know what I mean? But besides that, you're just staying strong and positive for their recovery. Oh, that's good, though. Yeah, but fucking, like, I'm about to, I'm about to say something very, very personal, right? Um, but I definitely remember one time where I'm just at work and then I get a call and it's all like, uh, you might need to come home right now. And it's like, why? Well, I got to go and check on, uh, you know, my mom's like, I got to go and check on my, uh, your uncle. And I'm like, why? She's like, well, you know how your family's just kind of like a piece of shit in general? Yeah. And I was like, yes. And she's like. Well, you know, they had been arguing for like forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. And then one day your uncle's just like, uh, hey, man, I'm on the steps. Can you call like the ambulance or something? Because I can't get up in which his brother then replies, no, do it yourself. Meanwhile, the man's on the steps having a stroke. And it's like, what? You know, so. So, yeah, <laughs> it's like, hmm. Oh my fucking god, just go, just go, just go. Just don't even look at him, just go. Yep, so it's like... So, like, it gets to the point where I'm just like, listen, most of my family members, I don't even care about you motherfuckers anymore. And it's like, oh, you're just a bad person. It's like, am I, though? Because you literally have someone who will sit there and watch you die and just go, nah, not my problem. So, I don't know, man. Oh, turn around. Turn around, please. Oh, yes. Turn around, you bitch. Mm, get stabbed up. This is how we do it. It's the Dark Souls dance. <laughs> Problem solved. All right, I'm just praying for another shortcut, honestly. That's all I need. Look at you hiding in the corner. I can hide in corners too, like this. Oh, you're still alive. <laughs> all right. Can you aim? Jesus. Why is the lock on? There we go. Listen, the further away from you I can stay, the better. You fucking weird, grotesque abomination. That for some reason, God lets you exist. I don't know why. I don't know for what benefit. There we go. Speaking about fucking things that God let exist, this is, I don't know, this is like the stupidest segue ever. I've been watching, I'm watching, wow. I've been reading JoJo Part 7 again <laughs> because I forgot, I forgot a lot of things about JoJo Part 7. So I'm starting to read, read that. And it starts out my favorite way possible of a Native American dude getting chased <laughs> by other, by his own tribe as they say, you know, as they're like, you must be hunted. You must be scalped. There's no saving you now. You have offended the tribe, right? And then the guy goes to swing, right? Guy goes to swing at him, and the dude dodges because he changes his running style. And the first thing that comes out of, out of the other dude's mouth is he's like, that running style, it's not our running style. It's the white man's running style. <laughs> and I'm just sitting there, and I was like, I forgot. I forgot that part seven just starts out with pure racism. <laughs> And I love it. It's so fucking stupid. That's the white man's running style. <laughs> oh no, he's learned some forbidden tech.
I love Jojo. Don't forget, one of your main characters of Jojo, he's friends with a Nazi. <laughs> one of his best friends who saved his life is a Nazi. <laughs> Joseph Joestar, the most shittiest Joestar there ever was. He's like, ah, oh, don't worry. <laughs> I cheated on my wife. Have an illegitimate child, right? Fucking... And my best friend's a Nazi. Just casually hanging out with the Nazis like it's no one's problems. <laughs> Jesus, it's not my problem. God, JoJo is so fucking stupid. Maybe you should read part six and on just to keep up. Again, I was talking about it a little bit earlier, but it's like... Part six is like, do you like body horror? Well, there's a lot of it. Oh! That was a legit reaction, by the way. Because I saw that crossbow bolt. And now my thief's ring made that motherfucker forget about me. See, this is when you don't want to run ahead. But I'm going to anyways. Uh, shield up, boys. Shield up. No, no, no. Why did all three of you decide to go over there? Oh, yeah, motherfuckers can come to me. That one has a crossbow. I'm gonna use this pillar to my advantage. Oh! Uh oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Yep, this is death. This is death. This is what death looks like. Say hello. Oh shit, get the hell out of here. That crossbow hurts really bad. Really badly. I'm like two shot out here, you know? That guy's walking away from me. And you can't backstab him. That's the sad part. What? Oh, I don't have my magic ring on. Damn it. So I can't even get them from a distance. Not right now. Oh, shit. Sure, if I can just bait you over here and you can just ignore your best friend, that'll be fine. There we go. There we go. Just gotta finish Demon Souls and then we can play Dark Souls. Ha ha! <laughs> Jesus. Like a pep in their step. Exactly. Look at those guys. I love how they just saunter over. Fuck this guy and his fucking crossbow. He's not gonna fly around the, around the pillar, is he? Yeah, maybe. No, no, hey, no, yeah. Okay, cool. Alright. Get my magic back. So now I can shoot him in a distance. Oh, he's, uh... Stuck. <laughs> I gotta kind of bait him back. Buddy. Buddy, come over here. I can't really... I can't really attack you in any way, shape, or form right now until my magic comes back. It comes back at a very slow rate. Oh, you know what? I have, um... Oh, wait. Fresh Spice. Doesn't that recover my magic? Flirting it up. Do what your parents say when you were a child and they need you to take your medicine. They say chug a lug. And then you go, that sounds stupid. That makes me not want to take my medicine more. <laughs> Unless it tastes like bubble gum. Or tastes like Pedialyte. Pedialyte tastes good. Has there ever been like any form? That was weird. Has there ever been like any form of like good tasting cough syrup? Right? And I'm not talking about fucking lean or any dumb shit like that. I mean like just straight up cough syrup itself. Like there's no way to make that thing taste good. Is there? It's either tastes like poison or or fucking just death. Oh come on. Come on, guys. There we go. Come on. I just need you to follow me. 
come on down and win your prize. What the fuck kind of attack was that? There we go. Now we're off the bridge. You're dead. Your life is mine. There we go. All right. Now all I gotta do is climb that tower up there. You know, and activate the shortcut, and then we can fight the boss, and then I can fucking cry in a corner. Let's see, Robotussin? Spell check. Still tastes gross to me. All oh, cough syrup tastes fucking gross. I don't. I don't think there's any form of cough syrup that can possibly taste good. I get. That's why we got cough drops, right? <laughs> you just take those instead and you eat them like candy and they're like oh you really shouldn't do that it has fucking what's it called methanol in it or menthanol however the fuck you say it and it's like you can't stop me <laughs> it's like you failed already you gave me a whole pack of cough drops now they're gonna be gone cherry flavored I am a I am more of a I am more of a fruit punch flavor or like tropical flavor they have tropical flavored ones or like honey flavored ones I like those and sometimes when you really just want to be, when you just really want to hulk out, you grab the mint ones and then you start drinking soda with it or some shit and you fucking just kill yourself. <laughs> and that's what you do because you're like, it's so refreshing. My body can't handle it. This is a, this is an elevator, right? It's coming down, right? Yeah, it is. It's moving. Okay. Had to make sure. It's taking forever for this fucking elevator to come down. Jesus. It only gives you like one second to get on. Just unlock the core memory right there. Yeah, just taking like, there's, here's the mint flavors. And you just fucking, you get like a cold ice glass of water. And you're like, yeah, this is what I live for. My god, you flew all the way in my face, and you still- Oh, there's another one! Uh-oh, 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 this is bad. Uh-oh. Ho! Hey! Ho! Oh my god, you guys really need to, like, get the fuck away from me right now. Come on, roll! Ah! <laughs> Damn it! We're just gonna keep going. We're just gonna keep going. See, listen, if you just stay calm and you don't panic, Dark Souls isn't hard. Huh! <sighs> my life flashed before my eyes! I'm gonna hold the shield button while this cutscene is playing because I feel like the enemies are still moving. That's some real Cthulhu type shit. And just in case you weren't scared enough, here they come. So fucking nasty, dude. Like, unnecessarily so. Alright. Oh my god, there's two of you motherfuckers. By any chance, can you guys just like, let me live? <laughs> that one's weak. So that's the- oh well, he's- alright, he's just going home. <laughs> okay. What the fuck are you flying for? Get down here! Where's the other one? You know, you're gonna- you're just gonna be up there. Alright. Now where the fuck did the other one go? He really just went home, didn't he? 
Oh no, he's right there. There you go. All right. Disaster averted. Why is there a sound of another one? Or was that its death scream? I think that was its death cry. And then over here... This isn't a shortcut, is it? Pick up the fucking item. Oh my god. I hate how close to the item I have to be. Alright. Oh shit. I didn't even know the dude was behind me. He's like, just keep standing there. He's just trying to get me. Now he's just gonna have to think about every every choice he made in his life. Alright, now we have a breather, and not only that, we have a shortcut. Not only that, I'm going to take my ass over here and go and get some more healing items. See, everything worked out just fine, just perfectly fine. Whew. Let's see. Tylenol is a... Tylenol, Tylenol is a brand? Of cough drop? I thought that was just the medicine itself. Because I'm just thinking of halls. That's what I'm thinking of. <laughs> I'll take a drink of my water. I needed a breather. I needed a breather. And while we're having a breather, let's have a let's have a self-inserted ad here. Hey there. I added more emotes to the tier one sub. That's the end of the ad. You have Beef Bowl, right? You have Mystery Machine. And then you have Stay Calm, which is exactly what I just did. So I'm going to throw that in the fucking chat right now. Why? Because I can. It's okay, guys. Just stay calm. <laughs> just stay calm and, and good things will fucking happen. All right, oh, uh, over here, yeah, this is where I want to go, the ritual path. <sighs> well met, fair traveler. I am in require, I need some dank ass grass, do you have some? Half moon grass. That's exactly what I want. 16. I'll take it. Alright. Alrighty. Get rid of this crescent moon bullshit. That doesn't fuck up my roll, does it? Nope. Woo! Off screen, I'm definitely going to need to... Grind some souls and just upgrade my vitality so I can take more than two hits. But the fact that I got this far and this far in the fucking you know in the game without having that be too much of a hindrance means I'm doing pretty well. <laughs> if I do say so myself. All right. So far, when it comes to bosses, I only died to one of them, and that was the Tower Knight, and that's because I was a fucking idiot and I just ran into its attack. All the other ones I kind of beat first try. I almost died during the Fool's Idol, though. It was, like, really clutch, but I had that regeneration ring on. Alright. Head over to the Tower of Latria. Upper Latria. And time for the second hardest boss in this game, the Man-Eater. She's a man-eater, make you want more, wish you never ever met her at all. That's a good song. I like it. You wish you never ever met her at all. You wish you never ever met her at all. Look out here, demons. Oh, I forgot these guys are here now. Oh, shit. I mean, I can just bait them, right? Stay calm. 
nothing good but good things will happen. Ho! Oh, forgot about you! Now where do I go? I go... I go up. And on the way there, I think there's like some fucking, uh, what you call it? Mind flares? Or whatever? Dude, I remember watching... I haven't really watched... I stopped at like season three of Stranger Things or whatever, but I remember watching Stranger Things season two and they're like, the mind flare. And I'm like, oh, we're going to see weird like fucking Cthulhu creatures? And it's like, nope, it's just this weird fucking creature off in the distance. And I'm like, oh, that's boring. <laughs> I want to see, I want to see fucking Squidward monsters. I want to see a bunch of Dr. Zoybergs walking around. Ooh, another black phantom fucking mind flare. So I'm just going to run my ass down here, do the smart thing, equip the thieves ring. Let's see. You stopped that season one, need to catch up. i am be honest, I don't think you do. Because <laughs> I stopped that fucking season two because they were like, they were like, Let, let's talk about the boyfriend and girlfriend dynamic of, of certain characters. And I'm like, I'm like, I get it. But at the same time, I don't care, man. That's still a bunch of kids. <laughs> like, do I really care? You should have cut it out like how fucking they cut out the sewer scene and fucking the weird orgy scene and fucking, you know, the It movie. Should have just got rid of it. Also, I never understood why people like Steve Harrington that much. Like, he had that one cool moment where he swings a bat. And I was like, that's pretty cool. And then fucking... And then after that... Nothing. Right? No. 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 I'm dead. Good thing I had no souls! You're just in it for the spooks or conspiracy? Dude, there's way better shows that does that. Let me tell you about something called Lock and Key. Do you want conspiracies and do you also want to feel fucking depressed at the same time? Go watch Lock and Key. Way better. Or better yet, read the fucking comic. <laughs> way sadder. <laughs> and I mean, most shows, just not that one. Okay. Yeah, go watch Lock and Key. That's something that I kept telling people. They're like, oh man, I'm waiting for Stranger Things. I'm like, fuck Stranger Things. You should watch Lock and Key. Or at least read the comic because this is fucking Jesus. <laughs> it just makes you depressed the whole entire time. But a good type of depressed where you're like, oh man, does that character ever come back? Nope, they're dead. Oh man, what happened to this character? Did they ever come back? Nope. They just don't know that someone they love is dead. And they'll just forever wonder. What about this guy? No, nah, his soul's lost to the fucking, I don't know, other realm or some shit. <laughs> like, not even dead. Your soul's just trapped and it will never come back. <laughs> like, oh. Like, oh no. And the fucking, you know, Netflix adaptation that they did for that is pretty good too. It's not one for one, the comic, but like, it's pretty goddamn good. It kind of also gives you a little bit of those, like, Spiderwick Chronicle vibes. You know what I mean? Just a little bit. Like, minus all, like, the weird monsters and shit and, like, the dude who spits in their eye. Ah, oh, if I spit in your eye, then you can see all the fucking monsters and you don't need the stupid little glass thing to look through. Yeah, I remember the Spiderwick Chronicles? Nobody does. <laughs> Nobody does. There was, like, what, five books in total? Or something like that? I don't even remember the Spider-Man Chronicles, and I read all of them. That's how good it was. Don't remember shit about it. Like, what was the point of Spider-Man Chronicles? Another core memory has been unlocked. Good. No fear, no fear, no fear. Oh my fucking god. I should have got like a free- what the fuck? What are you shooting at? I 
I just gotta fight him like this. This is how I gotta fight him. <sighs> now I think the the dark fan. Oh, those are my souls, by the way. I just been ignoring them. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. I want to get that backstab. All right, cool. So that's one of you down. I'm pretty sure the Dark Phantom ones don't come back. They might get replaced with regular ones. And I think there's another one up here. Or is that the only one? Might be the only one. I'm rocking the Thieves Ring, right? Just making sure. Yeah, I am. Okay, cool. Oh my god, get views and followers and primes at, at viewer.shop. Thank you, Twitchbot. You definitely help all of us. It's so fucking annoying. <laughs> like, I don't get it. That's definitely a polished bot. So polished that it fucking has THC dot 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 get viewers. <laughs> like, uh huh. Like it's the same level of polish that you ha that you have on those fucking weird ass mobile game YouTube ads where it's like the guy who clearly like lives in Russia or some shit doing like getting voiceover by some random fucking dude in I don't know Europe or some shit and he's just like guys remember those games about the about the mobile ads well I actually found the game this isn't a lie these games are real it's like, well, shut the fuck up. There's like two different guys doing the same voice. Alright. So, time for the second hardest boss in the game. Guys, I found the game. The Man-Eater. And guess what? You're like, oh, it's just this guy. He's not that bad. Well, what's bad is if you don't... Oh, shit. I pulled out my fucking wand like an idiot. First of all, it'd be nice if you let me recover from their first attack. But what's bad about it is that it can fly. You're fighting it on this fucking bridge. And it does that. Sometimes it can get stuck up there. And sometimes its AI is just purely stupid. But the worst part about it, which I don't, now that I'm thinking about it, why the fuck do I even have the thief ring on me? The worst part about it is that if you wait too long, well, I mean, it's going to happen regardless. Where the fuck is the ring? Where's the ring? Where's the ring? Where's the ring? Here it is. Ow. It's going to happen regardless, but you kind of want to, your goal is to get rid of this guy first as fast as possible. Because there's a second one that's going to fly in and you're going to have more fun. This thing's AI is fucking wonky. Now, usually, this would be, like, a way harder fight if you didn't have this central pillar here. Because this fucking stone over here is definitely going to be your best friend. And magic's not going to be your best friend, but guess what? When they're flying around and shit, and both of them are attacking you at the same time, you're going to love this magic. You're going to love this solero. It's going to be your best friend. And this is pretty much fine. Oh, he has ranged attacks too. Did I forget to mention that? And there's his friend. Hi. <laughs> there's only two of them. And this is the fight. And this is the fight. These guys are the progenitors, I would say, to uh, the gargoyles. Oh, fucking. I'm going to die. Oh, I'm dead. No, I'm still up. Ah! Fuck this. Bad roll, bad roll, bad roll, bad roll. I am gonna die. I just need to get some distance from you guys. That's all. Now, if you're lucky enough, this is why I also had the Thief's Ring with me. Because you can actually get one of them to not 
aggro and just get stuck all the fuck the way down there. Because their AI is so fucking buggy. But it's still pretty fucking annoying to deal with. This guy over here is having the time of his life. <laughs> He's fighting them too. See? There you go, you get them stuck. And that's the best you can hope for. If you can get them stuck and then just pick them off with Soul Arrow. Oh, and now he's in his little Super Saiyan mode. That's amazing. Let me up. All right, okay. This fight is basically one giant fucking war of attrition. Where's the other one? All the fuck the way down there? Good. Let's see. Whew. Just stay calm. Stay calm. Just think it through. That one's just stuck down there. I hope it stays there forever. Forever more. Ah, oh, fucking hell, man. Mmm. I'm gonna start rolling. <laughs> oh, that was close. You know what they remind me of? They remind me of, like, uh, the flying monkeys. From fucking Wizard of Oz. They look just like them, but just like more hulked out. Ooh, block that one just in time. And, yep, I'm dead. Oh, shit. This is a fun fight, and I love it. And by love it, I mean hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. Worse than Cinder Demon. Fucking Christ. Get stuck. Get stuck and stay there. Get stuck and stay there. Oh, now he's hulking out. Now that one's getting closer. Whew. Oh, I was hoping that you wouldn't shoot magic, and I'm dead. And that's the man of your fight. Which is why... I need to... I think I need to change up my weapon, actually. Uh, the AI flies too far and can't... Can't get a reception. <laughs> that's why it gets stuck. Pretty much. God damn it. This is why they also, for the most part later, would do away with, like, the whole penalty shit. Like, how hard they penalize you for being in your soul form. Because, imagine if I wasn't in my soul form, and then my world tendency would get fucked up because I keep dying to the fucking man-eater boss, which fucking sucks. Nobody likes the man-eater. So, uh, let's see. Thou seek to then touch the demons. Oh, sorry, girl, I didn't mean to talk to you. My bad. Stop talking to me. I won't talk to Thomas. Uh, trying to remember what weapon to use on these guys. I think, I honestly think... The first time I fought them, I was using the Dragon Bone Smasher. But since I'm not going for a strength build, we're going to have a harder time. So... And nothing really does as much damage as the Dragon Bone... I mean, not Dragon Bone, the Dragon Long Sword. So... Shit. 
I did in my off time level up this thing, which I don't know how to pronounce, and the war spear. War scythe, my bad. War scythe does what? Slashing? And it inflicts bleed, like heavy bleed, I think. So I think. You have a heart of gold. I think that'll be okay to use. Right? Maybe. Hmm. I know you can also. Oops! Oh, fuck! Let's not do that. I know you can also. Whoa. Hello. Why? Do the thing I want you to do. Why can't I? Oh, no, I'm thinking of the rapier. Is it the rapier I'm thinking of that, like, stabs while you can, um. You can stab while blocking? Will the scythe help me out in that fight? I'm trying to think about it. I really am. Because that fight is just so not fun. It is so not fun. Hmm. And I don't want to look anything up, really. And with that said, I'm actually going to take a bathroom break. <laughs> I promise you, I won't look anything up. But I, I gotta fucking use the bathroom. So I'll be right back. You're back. Uh, so what the hell was I doing? Let me see. Gonna have to sleep now. Can't keep your eyes open. <laughs> Thanks for this Twitch stream and hearing your mini vet. We'll try and stay longer, but if not, see you later. No, man, if you're tired, fucking go to sleep. You don't gotta stay for me, right? The most, the most I will ever ask for is if you can grab a tier one sub. If not, don't worry about it. 
right? And that's literally just it. But if you gotta go to sleep and you're tired, fucking go to bed. Don't you got shit to do tomorrow? <laughs> Make sure you get that rest. Because Lord knows that I wish that I was sleeping 24-7. Stay for chill vibes. <laughs> yeah. I try my best. Well, I don't really try. That's kind of a weird statement to say. But fucking, for the most part, I never like, I've never been one for like the, for like the scream lord YouTuber slash streamer and stuff like that. It's like, why are you so excited all the time? <laughs> right? Like, even to that effect, um, earlier today, I haven't, I haven't eaten like fast food in a while. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get me some Popeyes. And as I was looking at the, you know, order or whatever, it's like, do you want your chicken blackened? And I was like, what the fuck does that mean? So I looked it up. And of course, it sent me to like a YouTube video or whatever of like some guy trying blackened chicken from Popeyes. And the whole entire time, he's like, guys, we got the biscuit. And oh my God, and the fries. Woo. He's like, this chicken is the best chicken I ever had. And it's like, bro, why are you so excited? Just tell me if it tastes good or not. I'm getting tired of this shit. <laughs> Honestly. The biscuit is so good. Meanwhile, I'm sitting there. I was like, I don't know. I don't like their dry ass biscuit. What? Thing fucking. Every time I eat it, I feel like I'm choking on it. Right? It's like, where the fuck does the water? You're trying to kill me with a biscuit. All right. Um, I think what I'm going to do. I'm not going to worry about using the catalyst. Uh, do I have any fire bombs? I'm going to, mm, here's the stupid part, because if I take off the fucking cling ring, right, if I take off the cling ring, that's what my health looks like, and I'm definitely going to die in fucking one hit, so I can't take off the cling ring, that's not going to happen, right, uh, it's not going to happen, I want to see, I'm not going to worry about using magic, I want to see if... Maybe I can use the Thief's Ring and kind of like run away from one and get it to ignore me. Uh, and what else? Firebombs, firebombs, firebombs. How many firebombs do I have? Yeah, I'm keeping a close watch. Uh, items. Do I not have any firebomb? Oh wait, I have it on me. I got one firebomb. What the fuck, really? Thanks. You have a heart of gold. You have a heart of gold. I do. I do. <laughs> Every review on YouTube, right? Like, dude, it literally started with the guy fucking like opening the bag and pulling out the bock of fuck of uh, the bock. Yeah, the bock. Mm -hmm. Bock came out and started playing some classical music. No, uh, pulling out the box of like food, and it's like what three fucking chicken tenders and like a couple of fries and one biscuit and he's all like guys we have the Popeye's box mm -mm -mm. and I'm like dude like you're some dude in his fucking car just like losing your shit over like the tiniest kids meal from fucking Popeye's chill out <laughs> guys we got the Mickey D's toy I can't believe it I waited my whole life for this and now I have it. God. I will say, though, if I'm ever watching a food review, which for the most part is just a bunch of people going like, mm, this chicken isn't chickeny enough, right? That fucking dumb shit. I will watch that, like, one dude who looks like he really needs to eat a sandwich and he wears, like, a tux. You know the guy I'm talking about. He's like... I hate to say it like this, but he's like some super white guy, <laughs> right? And he wears a tuxedo and like he takes out the fast food and he just eats it all dainty and shit like that. And he's just like, hmm, let's talk about it. <laughs> and it's mainly just because it's a fucking scrawny ass dude in a suit eating like the biggest food ever. And it's like, dude, how, where, where does it go? Like, I bet this is the only meals you ever eat because <laughs> you're just, you're just a super skinny guy. It's entertaining, right? That and I guess diners, uh, was it diner divins and dives or whatever the fuck drives or some shit, you know, fucking Guy Fieri and his bullshit because it's like, it's a food review, cooking show, 
and also one third of like a horror show because you're just waiting for him to take a bite of food and maybe just drop dead of a heart attack. <laughs> if not, then you're just watching him devour the food and you're like, man, you're scary. You terrify me, Guy Fieri. Or Fieri, however the fuck you say his name. I'm gonna take you to Flavor Town. <laughs> fucking. I love Guy Fieri. He's so fucking stupid. Like, I remember, like, American Dad had, like, an episode when, uh, when, uh, what's called Haley's, uh, fucking boyfriend, now husband, fucking, he, uh, he was slowly turning into Guy Fieri because Guy Fieri was, like, a fucking demon or something. And he's all like, this is the real flavor town. We're all demons. And we fucking take our hosts and just take over their bodies so we can eat the most great food in the world. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm gonna take you to Flavor Town. <laughs> Flavor Town is the best. I love Flavor Town. All right, where the fuck is the Cthulhu monster? Oh, it's still a fucking red phantom. Oh, I'm just gonna run past you, man. I'm gonna try and run past you because fuck this. Honestly, I gotta wait for it to turn around though. A lot of waiting. Because if it sees me coming, then it's going to paralyze me and do some crazy shit. Maybe I can get a backstab in. Yup. That's the best I can wish for. Get that backstab in and goodbye. Not dealing with your bullshit, not today. <laughs> Alright. So I think what I want to do with the man eater is I completely fucking forgot. But like I saw it like for that split second that I can lock onto its tail. And I think if you cut off the tail, it like it can't shoot magic no more or some bullshit, which is like the biggest problem that I'm having with it right now. So. So first thing I wanted to do is lunge at me. If I can get it to lunge, I mean, it shouldn't be too hard. Oh my god, the first thing you do is go Super Saiyan. Great! Give me your fucking tail, you piece of shit. Oh. Come on. Come on, before the second one shows up, please. Oh my fucking god. I can't. There we go. Give me that tail. I'm gonna grab my souls while I'm at it. Where are you going? Watch where you going, you fool. <laughs> Remember that from Courage? My favorite show ever. Where did it go? Where, where did it go? Where? Where is... Oh. I really need that tail to come off, like ASAP, before the other one shows up, so please, please if you will. There we go, tail's gone. I really shouldn't be over here fighting you, but it is somewhat safe. And now the second one's here. Where? It's all the fuck the way over there. You flying monkey son of a bitch. Mm, I was really hoping that that wouldn't hit me. Alright, I'm gonna run all the way over here. And just pray to God that one of you guys just don't follow me because of the thief's ring. And that's all I can hope for. That's all I can hope for, really. Preferably the one without the tail. I think both of them got unaggroed by me because of my thief's ring. <laughs> Oops. Who's the closest? Oh. And which one are you? You were the one without the tail? Yep. 
Yeah, you're the one without the tail. Mmm. No, no, no. No, no, please. I'm gonna heal. I know healing in front of you is a bad idea, but it was literally the only thing I could have done. And I'm dead. Damn it. Maneater is going to be the playthrough ender. Ah, oh, shit. And I'm running out of healing items. That is the worst part about it. I really need... What do I... What can I... Mm. I want to do this without looking up shit, right? So what would I need? You can't upgrade the, the dragon sword, can you? I don't have any souls, but you can't upgrade the dragon sword. No, you can only... Okay. What is the... Uh... Let me see something real quick. Physical damage 100%. Well, that's a fucking lie because it can still lunge at me, apparently. And I want to check the Adjudicator's shield real quick. Reduces to 90. And guard breaks at 50. I might need to use the Adjudicator's shield just to get that quick, uh, that quick health up, you know? That regeneration. But before I do all that, let's head over... Let's head over to Fangstone real quick so I can check and see what I need in order to upgrade the Dragon Long Sword. Because fucking. Right now, that's like the only thing I can see helping me right now in this fight with the Man Eater. Because I don't have any fire bombs. Oh god, I was hoping. Hoping that it wouldn't kill me. Great. Now, what the hell do you need? I mean, I can't repair shit. Upgrade. Dragon Longsword. What would I need for that? Souls and Dragon Shard, which I do have. Okay. I have souls on me. No problem. I should have souls on me. Where are they? Here they go. 2,000. Mm -mm. Dragon Shard, 6, and Dragonstone Chunk, which I have. Uh, plus 2 should be enough, right? Well done. Oops. I also kind of wanted you to, re to repair my shit, to be honest, because I've been getting my ass beat this whole entire time. There we go. And maybe that will help me out more. And I got a couple souls left, so I could go and buy some healing items. But eh, eh. I mean, I can buy like two of them. But like maybe two healing items, because the rest of the souls are just gonna go poof and smoke once I die again. So might as well just spend them. Get some of that ranky danky grass up in me. All right. Drop on down. Talk to you. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Hello to you, sir. I can only buy two. So yeah. Okay. Thank you. Goodbye. All right. Now to head straight to the man eater. That's probably going to be the whole entire fucking stream this time. It's either fight the man eater or fucking fight uh, you know, 
get my way to uh, finish World 3. Not World 3, my bad. World 4. But I'm just having a hard time fighting the fucking... The soul dudes. Whatever the hell they're called. Forgot. <laughs> the thing that the Reaper summons. Because they shoot magic out of their out of their mouths. Like they're a fucking raccoon from DBZ. You know what I mean? My name's Raccoon. And it rhymes with <laughs> your dude. <laughs> that will never get me to laugh. Jesus. That will never stop me laughing. Stop me laughing? No, I don't fucking know. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm saying stupid shit. Don't pay no mind to me. Now I gotta get you to come over here. Come on. Come on. Come on. The thief's ring's not that strong. Come on. Someone is in my house and they are currently cooking food at like fucking what? Three in the morning? Four in the morning? Ridiculous. I keep forgetting that guy. I keep forgetting about that guy and he keeps scaring the shit out of me. All right. I don't know why they keep responding this fucking mind flare up here. It's annoying as shit, but whatever. You know? What can I do about it? Besides cry. Which I will. I'm currently crying. There's also a fucking plane like right above my house right now making a lot of noise. <laughs> Alright, where's the phantom? It sucks because I gotta fucking wait for him to turn his back. Damn it. And that's not gonna happen until he gets all the fuck the way down here. And then turn around. Just put a super annoying enemy right there. Why not? It definitely won't be annoying as fuck when you're trying to just head straight towards the boss. Getting a backstab. Nope, I was too slow on that one. I'm trying to get past you, and I can't. And I already have my health knocked down a bit. I'm not wasting my fucking healing items on you, though. That's for damn sure. Just enough to squeeze on by. See you later, bitch. Now, if I was doing my own playthrough on my own time, this is where I would just put the fucking regenerator ring on and just not worry about it. <laughs> and just sit here and wait for my health to come back. But I don't want to make you guys sit through that, so I'm just going to use some grass and just get going, right? Fight me, man eater. I have come here to challenge you. This time you're going down. You're going down, brother. I'm going to take you to Flavor Town. Ow! Come on, at least let me up first before you hit me. That's like the most cheap... Really, dude? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die! <laughs> Jesus. Come on, buddy, just come down here. By the way, I did a lot of damage with that sword. Don't get stuck, dude. That's the last thing I need you to do right now. At this moment. Oh my god. Come on. Give me that tail. Bullshit. I shouldn't have got hit by that. And you know it. We both know it. Now that fucking snake got you charging up and shit. Did I cut the tail off? I sure as fuck did. But you're still in your rage state, so... Come on, buddy. I need you to come on down. I need you to come on down so I can beat your ass senselessly. That was the worst fucking time to attack possible. But I did it regardless. And I don't regret it. Where's the other one? Let me take my shield out. I don't care who follows me, but I need you to fucking separate, both of you, right now. I'm gonna pick up my souls, by the way. 
since they're down here. Oh, you're both coming. That's great. That's amazing. Exactly what I fucking wanted. Mm, exactly what I want. Dude. Just let me. Just let me go. I only need one of you. Come on. Use this dark moon grass. I bet both of you are coming, aren't you? Yup. Of course. If I can separate you. If I can just separate you. Oh. There we go. Only one. Only one, damn it! Only one, please. This is the best I can do. And if both of them keeps coming at me at once, then there's no way. Right? Oh my fucking god, you guys are really just annoying as shit right now. Locked at the last second, fuck you. Ow! Bastards. Oh my god, dude. There's no way your lunge sends you flying that far. Yeah, no, this is a... This is not. Oh. Only got one of them this time. Nice. Alright, you and me, buddy. Okay, really need you to not... Really need you to not be a pain in the ass. The other one's coming. The other one's coming. And I'm gonna die. There we go. Damn. Now I really have, like, no healing items to really help me out with this shit. I am at what we call a stalemate. In which the only way for me to move forward... Actually, hmm. How many souls do I have? I have enough where I can just buy a bunch of shit. And what does the what does this even scale with, by the way? It scales with nothing. <laughs> it scales with nothing. So it's just raw damage. Huh. Jesus, that's gonna be difficult. Hmm. Huh. trying to think my way through this. I can also go and free Yurt, right? I can do that as well. But then I have to, like, run all the fuck the way through here again. Yikes. Because if I kill Yurt, I can get his set, and that can definitely help me out tremendously. I don't know what I want to do. And that's the bad part about it. I can keep banging my head at this fucking boss. Hmm. Alright. I'm gonna go and grab me some healing items again. That's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna check my items real quick. Not items. Um, I'm gonna check my my armor. See what can put me up to 
like just basically go for raw physical defense, right? Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Actually, my bad. I, I gotta use it. I gotta actually use my souls first before I even talk to you. Two thousand. Use a little bit more. Four thousand. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. How much does that get me? 10? Good. That's what I want. Now I'm gonna run my ass over to Thomas, grab all my armor, and just see what gives me the best physical defense and if I can actually carry it. Because I think that's like, it's the lunges and shit that are really doing the most damage on me, and this shield isn't really helping as much. As it should be. Thomas, my friend. Damn it. Hello again. I'm keeping a close watch. Thomas. Let me. Let me grab my stuff. Wizard's cloak. Imperial black leather. Officials. Blah, blah, blah. blah. All right. What is the strongest? I would assume it would be the flute armor, right? Like the one I'm already wearing. Yeah, the one I'm already wearing is good. This. The flute helm. If I use the flute helm, then I'm going to have to put the shield away. Okay. What was that about? Running off? Pretty sure all the flute gear is just like the best defensive wise. I think I'm already wearing the flute pants, right? Yep, flute flute greaves. Graves, greaves, however the fuck you say it. Ooh. Blue armor is pretty fucking heavy for me. That's not good. What's my equip burden looking like? It's at 54%, so yikes. So having that in a shield is just not going to be the best. Right? Because then I get... Ugh, I get that. Hmm. But I can get away with... With just rocking the helmet, right? So, let me see which is stronger, the helmet with a 14 or the gloves with a 21. Hmm, that shield is very heavy. I guess I might have to use the buckler shield, maybe? <laughs> this brings me to 57. So I will have to up my endurance. Let me see, what's my other shield options looking like? I'm keeping a close watch. I have the kite shield, which is not as heavy, but what is the downside of it? It has a lower guard break. Yikes. Brings me to 53. Hmm. I don't want to get rid of my catalyst. No. I just want to go pure defensive right now. Just so I can, like, tank a couple of hits. But then... I would... Mm. Let 
No, that's just for item. Okay, that's not for equipment burden. All right. So back with these ring. Trying to think this through, right? You know, but my cattle is back on. Hmm. These are pretty heavy and they have 21. This has 34. How much does the other one have? What was that about? This has 32. Still heavy. Still heavy. Hmm. Trying to think. I'm really trying to think this through. I just don't have enough. I just don't have enough equipper. And my shit's at like, what, 30 already? I have 30 points in it? Yeah, 30 points in endurance. I can't really equip anything. Because I need some defense for the man here. So... really trying to think this through because if I go shieldless I have my roll right but that's pretty it's pretty gutsy especially on a fucking bridge if you're just rolling around the whole time right and blocking what your sword is not is not a good option so I don't know I don't know what I want to do man I still have my roll with this, right? Yeah, it's that fucking shield. All right, guess I'll just. Hello again. I'm keeping a close. Let me check the other shield again. Buckler, which has guard break of forty-five. Yikes. Shoulder shield. How heavy is this one? Two pounds, two point five. Guard break of fifty, forty-five. But this one's better, and it scales with strength. They both scale with strength. This one's lighter. You have a heart of gold. Damn it. What can I get rid of? There's really not much I can get rid of, just like... The, it's the gloves, but then I'm just basically back to square one. Because I was already running around with the flute, with the flute armor, right? I think I was. If anything, I have less defense than I do right now. Hmm. Demon souls, why you do this to me? Why do you do this to me? How much do I need for another level up? 18. Yikes. And I don't want to use any of my boss souls. Not right now, anyways, because I'm not sure if I want to use any of those weapons later on. And using all these souls I have right now is not going to bring me to 18. I'm pretty sure it's not. Oh, yeah, it's definitely going to bring me nowhere near 18. Yep, nowhere near 18,000 souls. Damn. Alright, guess I can just... Fuck. Oh no, I guess I'll just use these souls to buy more healing right now. How much time do I even have left in this stream? Where the fuck is my phone? We got time. We have time, right? I 
mean, I can also head towards the value of the filament, but I honestly want to save that for last because I've never really been there before, so. Oh, you know what? Now that I have... You know what? Fuck it. Hold up. Let me go, uh... Let me go change my shit back. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go change my shit back real quick in the Nexus. And then I'm gonna see if I can... If I can make it... Right? To the boss of World 4-2. Because... Now that I upgraded the Dragon Sword and I'm doing more damage, I will probably have an easier time with those fucking... With those loser ass... With those fucking weird spirit things. Alright, so... What can I throw back at you? Actually, let me grab... What the fuck was I wearing before? <laughs> I was wearing this. I was wearing the hood. And I think I was wearing the flute armor? Was I? Let me see. Yeah, I was wearing the flute armor, right? This is what I was rocking, right? Oh yeah, this was what I ro was rocking. Hmm. What was that about? Running off? What's that about? Running off like that? I was scared, okay, Thomas? You frightened me. That's the truth. The whole truth. Nothing but the truth. Alright. Well, I'm gonna run my ass over to, um... Over here. See what that has in store for me. Like, my defense is still shit for magic. But hopefully, my attack will be so good that it wouldn't matter. So do what I do. Roll down here. Oh my god, it would be nice if, like... They're all dead. Well, at least I survived one hit of magic. Great. I can't wait to fucking do Dark Souls. <laughs> I can't wait to play Dark Souls. Oh, I'm rocking a Thief's Ring. I forgot. So now they really can't see me. That was stupid of me. Very stupid. I'm just gonna run past these big boys over here. Gotta get their attention first. Mmm! I felt that one coming. I really did. E Fring, activate! And now they'll never know that I was here. And now I'm gonna have to deal with this guy. Come on, where are you gonna... Oh, I can get really close to you without you reacting. Hmm. That only hits once, right? That doesn't hit again. Okay, so now you die a little bit faster. Not that fast, but a little bit. A little bit. So, maybe might make it a little bit more easier. Yeah. 
Really? You can hit me from behind too? That's great. That's wonderful. Your hitbox is great. You have a great hitbox. There we go. Pick this up. I got a dagger. Oh, and then there's you. There we go. You died pretty quickly. Gonna run over here. No skeletons? No skeletons, all right. Just gotta make sure you're not shooting any fucking laser beams out of your mouth. I would like to at least kill one boss this fucking stream. Uh oh. Nope. Ah, damn it. You spawned in before I can do anything. And now over here, I believe there's two of you. There's you. And then there's the other guy. Which is supposed to come out. Supposed to come out of the corner. The other guy is supposed to come out of the corner. Like that. Oh, that's where the fucking... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yup! Nope! Heal! Damn it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to deal with you pretty fast. That's the answer to the problem. Don't do it methodically, just fucking unga bunga your way through it. Start fucking hurting everybody. And once I get that past that guy, I should be okay. I should be golden, pretty much. Alright. I wish there was a faster way to deal with these skeletons over here. I really do. I mean, technically there is. And it involves a little thing called... Soul arrow, but you know, I need you to come over here with me, sir. Why is my what the fuck? I'm going to die. Quick thinking, quick thinking. Ha-ha! Huzzah, I have bested you, skeleton. Soul arrow. 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 Did you just fucking die already? Jesus. The fact that you can still hit me from the ledge pisses me off a little bit. I'm not gonna lie about that. Alright. Now I just gotta get you guys to come over here. Have some fun with me. Your buddy. Now, I just want to test something really, really quickly, right? 
I want to see. Nope. Not really gonna... Oh, you're still alive. There's really no way for me to stun you, huh? Just straight up. No real way for you to get stunned. Ignore you. I still got the one behind me. That's okay. Alright. Pretty safe for now. What does this say? Time for running away. Oh boy. Don't I believe that. Alright. Kind of a waste of grass, but, you know, gotta use what you got. Because right now the plan for me is to kill this guy, get my stamina back, and just don't even think about it. Oh, shit. Mistimed my roll. Damn it. This stream is just not my stream, huh? It just really isn't. There's always got to be that one moment in, in like a Dark Souls game, Demon Souls, whatever the hell, you know? Where you're just having a hard time. And right now this, this is that time for me. This is that time for me, right? I can just run past all of you, right? No, I can't. Yes, I can. If I believe hard enough. Yikes. Can you tell that my patience is, like, getting very, very thin? <laughs> like, at this point, I'm just like, fucking, I just want to get to, like, a boss and be able to do something. I don't want to, like, sit and wait around no more. And there's two ways I can go about it. I can either full-on rush it, like what I'm trying to do right now, or... I can just grind, which I don't want to do that during a stream. I want to do that off stream, where I have time to grind for souls. Because right now, I just need some vitality. Having my vitality at 10 right now, not really doing it. Come on. Come on, buddy old pal. Goodbye, skeleton. <laughs> All right. Your turn. you down a size what I'm really questioning right now though honestly is like how come ooh, how come those spirits over there seem to just have way more fucking health than the rest ooh I almost ran off the edge like a fucking lunatic It'd be nice if you let me just roll past. You know? You'd be my best friend. Don't you want to be my bestest friend? Ow. It's okay. We all have those days. Mm. 
You have a long windup and it confuses me half the time. You know that, right? Oh, I forgot about you. Come on, one more hit. There we go. And then there's you, who for the most part, I'm pretty sure I can just... Ow. Get killed by. For the most part, I can just ignore. You, I really can't. Oh, it goes through walls! How stupid of me not to notice that the attack just straight up goes through what? What the fuck? Oh my god, you're sneaky. I am running out of health. <laughs> I am running out of healing items. Yeah. I'm almost like at that point where I feel like it's a bit of a dead game unless I just go and grind some healing items, which I really just don't want to do on stream. So there's you. You don't shoot anything. Because you seem to be weaker. There we go. And then over here... Usually this guy gets like... You know. I wonder. How did that not hit me? I want to get you to activate. And while you're recovering from that, I can't go there because you're too far ahead now. Sir? Sir? You're really not helping my case right now. Aw, oh, damn it. These spirits are the fucking worst. <laughs> Jesus. Alright, well, shit. I guess that's gonna be it for this stream, then. Sadly, very little progress has been made. The most we did is, like, unlock a shortcut to the second boss. Or whatever, because I am running out of time, right? Yes, I am running out of stream time. <laughs> so, most we did. Make a shortcut to the boss in 3-2. Uh, and not really did much in fucking 4-2. Which, I wish that I, you know, I wish I did more. <laughs> so, off stream, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go grind some shit. I'm gonna see what weapons I can get from the, um... From the, uh, whatchamacallit, from the boss souls, you know, see if I want any of them. And the ones that I don't want, I'm gonna just fucking cash them in and just level up, right? Most importantly, get that vitality up, because I definitely need some, that's for sure. And maybe upgrade faith a little bit, so I can have some magic resistance, because that is really fucking me up, right? But, that's gonna be it for this stream. Jesus. God damn it. <laughs> I wish I was able to make more progress. But, you know, them's the breaks, right? That's how Demon Souls, Dark Souls play out sometimes. So, until then, right? Uh, I lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah. What, what day is it? So, next stream is going to be the usual time, right, on the schedule or whatever, so next week. Uh, unless, if I stream before then, right, then I'll go to Twitter and I'll send out a notice about that and stuff like that. And if you follow me, you'll get a nice little notice or whatever, and uh, it'll tell you if I'm going live or not. But if I do that, it probably won't be Demon Souls, right, because for Demon Souls, I want to sit down and be able to spend, like, multiple hours on it, <laughs> right? So, you know, if I do stream 
between that, it's going to be like a quick maybe one hour stream or something like that. One hour, hour and a half or something like that. Uh, so that's the plan for Twitch, right? If you like what you see on Twitch, leave a follow. And if you can, grab yourself a tier one sub and support me directly, right? If you can't, that's okay. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, leave a comment and a like. Because that helps with the channel notoriety and stuff like that. Subscribe if you want to. All that other bullshit. And as for YouTube, what's going to be going on YouTube at the time of this recording, at the time of this live stream, uh, later this week, or maybe tomorrow, or maybe today, uh, a spotlight video for Pokemon trading card game for the Game Boy Color. It's going to fucking go up on the channel, right? And then going to be moving into playing Pokemon Snap for the Pokemon Marathon. And, you know, besides that and uploading the previous streams and stuff for like Ace Attorney and stuff like that. There's probably going to be like maybe one more playthrough going up alongside the Pokemon Marathon stuff. So, don't know what it is yet. <laughs> I have some ideas, but I'm not sure what I want to do yet. But, you know. And that's pretty much the plan for that. So if you want to check that out, head over to the YouTube right there on the stream, right there on the screen. You know, all the other bullshit and crap. You know, all the self plug bullshit. <laughs> My outros are terrible. And over at Twitter, you know, just doing Twitter things, right? If you ever want to send any fan art or anything like that, fucking, fucking what you call it? Send it to the Twitter. You can either directly message me or just, you know, throw it out there, tweet it, put an ad on it, and then I'll take it and I'll put it at the beginning of the stream and stuff like that and give you credit and all that bullshit. So, <laughs> and yeah, and all that bullshit, you know, all the, all the streamer slash influencer slash YouTube things that people say and do, all that wonderful jazz. So that's pretty much it for the stream tonight. I'm going to grind a couple of things off stream and then, I don't know, get some sleep or something. <laughs> So until then, I want to say thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care.